It's interesting, of course, because Her Majesty died in Scotland, perhaps Scotland is playing a bigger role in all of this pageantry and this period of mourning than would have happened otherwise. Um, is Scotland rising to the challenge? I mean, did the people of Scotland hold the Queen in high affection? Do you think this will have done something to, to boost popularity of the monarchy? I mean, I think this is definitely showing there's a, a great deal of support. Uh, you only had to look at the scenes across uh, Scotland yesterday, not just in the cities where uh, the Queen's um, coffin passed yesterday. Over, Of course, uh, it went through Aberdeen, Dundee, Perth, and finally into Edinburgh, and there were huge, huge crowds uh, across those cities. But there was also significant crowds across Scotland's other major cities uh, for the proclamations, including in Glasgow as well yesterday. Uh, but obviously, I, I was in Edinburgh yesterday on the Royal Mile for the, the event yesterday, and there was a, 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 I've never seen as many people on the Royal Mile before um, lined from the, the bottom uh, at Holyrood House right the way up to Edinburgh Castle. It was a significant uh, uh, sense of occasion, albeit a very sad one. But I certainly think this is showing that Scotland has risen to the occasion. I think it's shown that Scotland is very much a, a, a supporter of our monarchy. Um, there were, of course, a, a very small, and I, and I emphasise small number of people who tried to disrupt yesterday's uh, 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 proclamation. Uh, proceedings, uh, but uh, the vast majority of people in the crowds, overwhelming number of people, uh, were there to pay their respects uh, to Her Majesty. Explain to me, explain to the general audience about where this all sits, what's happening, uh, where this sits with Scottish independence and Nicola Sturgeon's looming, another looming referendum. Uh, does this come at a bad time for her? I mean, I'm not necessarily sure the two are necessarily interlinked, although I think this does reaffirm our place in the Union. I think this shows that Scotland is very much a part of our country. Had you know, had uh, events unfolded in London and Scotland had no uh, participation in this event, um, whether that would have made a difference or not, I'm not too sure. But certainly what this is showing is that Scotland is very much a part of the Union. The people of Scotland feel very much a part of the institutions uh, of our United Kingdom. Uh, whether this has a negative impact or not on independence, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, whether or not this is the, the time to speculate on that, but I don't think it will have done uh, the pro-union cause any harm.